Hi folks, today is April 22nd. It's currently 9.13 in the morning. I'm looking at the USD CAD here, five minute chart with the harmonic scanner. We got two minutes until this bar closes and I'm hoping it'll close down here somewhere. If it does, I'll go ahead and take a uh, long Here it is here. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. All right, so we're looking at a five minute high. All right, we got about 50 seconds until this closes here. So we're gonna just be patient and see what happens here. If it closes as a down bar, we'll go ahead and jump in and take it long. All right, 30 seconds to go. All right, 10 seconds. It's still a down bar, still red, so I'm definitely gonna jump in here. I'm using a five minute this time because I'm just testing out different uh, time frames. Could have used a 10, obviously. Or for that matter, I could have used a 60 second, but we're going to try out a couple of different ones here. I've been focused my, uh, mainly on the 10 minute. So that's why I'm trying to switch it up a little bit today. All right, I'll tell you what, folks. Let me go ahead and pause it, and I'll come back when we're about uh, 30 seconds until this uh, expires. All right, folks, as you can see here, we have about 25 seconds to go until this comes to an end. Hopefully, the market will stay up. All right, 10 seconds to go. All right, so a nice one in trade there at this entry level. And as you guys can see, if this was a, just a Forex trade, we'd still be waiting, obviously, for it to uh, get up there to our profit target. All right, I'm going to pause. I'm going to try and uh, catch one more five-minute trade here for us this morning. We're about 16 pips away from this uh, GBP USD selling area, so I'm not going to take anything there. All right, I'm gonna to try to keep this under 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. I'm gonna go through the uh, currency pairs, and I'm gonna see if I can find another good setup for us, and once I do, I will be back. All right, folks, this is the USD CAD again. <clears throat> As you can see, it pushed down back into this buying area. So if it, or if it stays a down bar, we'll definitely go ahead and jump in. We got about 20 seconds to go. And we'll see what happens. All right, 10 seconds.
All right. Another five minute trade. If we get the opportunity to jump in deeper in here, I might uh, do that as well. Well, we should have some support, some help right here at this level. So we'll have to wait and just see what happens here. Hopefully the market will uh, react to that. So down here would have been a great area to jump in. Obviously, can't see the future. Didn't know it was going to continue to push down. So all we can do is just uh, watch it and see what happens. But this would be a great area to jump in. All right, I thought about it. I think I'm going to uh, pass. I'm just going to let this one uh, end and see what happens there. All right, I'll go ahead and pause it, and I'll come back. Making good time, just about seven minutes into it. Again, my hope here is that market will bounce off of this level and push up. Obviously, no guarantee that's going to happen. Got three minutes and 20 seconds to go. So I'll pause it, and I'll come back uh, about 30 seconds until it ends. All right, folks, we are basically right at the break even level. We need 481. It's currently at about 470. And the market is just bouncing around right at that level. 10 seconds. We need just a quick little spike up. Come on, just a quick little spike up, and we'll be good. All right, so it looks like it ended a few tiny little pipettes away from our uh, profit target, which is above that level, 26481. So didn't get it on the second trade. As you guys can see here, if we would have uh, got in, if we would have waited and got in right here at that entry level, it would have been a winner, but didn't do that. And of course, now it'll probably continue pushing up. But that's trading. Losses are a part of the game, so it is what it is. All right, so I've shown you guys some uh, five-minute trades with uh, the harmonic scanner and CT options and also some 10-minute trades earlier in the week. And this is going to be, I believe, what's today? Today's Friday the 22nd. So uh, at some point next week, I'll most likely go ahead and do a, a final review of everything with iMarkets Live because I've touched on the trade room, the uh, harmonic scanner for Forex, as well as a harmonic scanner for binary. I'm not the biggest fan of binary options, you know, period in particular. So obviously my knowledge base isn't uh, probably as large as some of your guys's, but you don't have to use CT options. If you have another broker that you like, you can definitely um, use that. And also as far as taking the trades, you'll have to I guess play around with it and decide, you know, what works best for you. You might have a method using, you know, 30 second trades or 60 second trades or two minute or five minute, or maybe you have a good system with uh, the range or one touch with the harmonic scanner. There are lots of different methods that we can use to trade with this. So it's going to take some uh, playing around with it for you guys to decide and figure out what's going to work best for you. All right. So when I do my final review, I'll, like I said, do a, a touch on everything that I've seen, everything that I've noticed, some of the issues that I've noticed, and uh, some of the positive aspects of it. And you guys can expect that um, hopefully early next week. And also I'll talk about why I didn't, uh, or why I wasn't able to move forward testing out the uh, FX signals live. I'll talk about that as well. All right, folks, I'll see you on uh, next week. Take care.